I'm super excited. I've already been in a few screenings and, and felt the energy and the vibe and how really people love this movie. You know, they're applauding, they're cheering, and you can't ask for more than that. Because we really, we have an action movie, a survival movie, it's funny, it's incredibly and surprisingly emotional, um, and it's characters that you can actually, you know, they're, they're not foolproof, they make mistakes, so it's people that you can relate to and identify with, so I think we really take the audience on a journey, and everybody that's seen it literally is like from the start to the end, it's white knuckling, even in the quiet parts, it's such kind of beautiful tension. Um, I play Captain Brody Torrens, who's a, an airline pilot, and he's been going through some stuff. He lost his wife. He's kind of estranged from his daughter. And this new year, he thinks he's going home to, to uh, spend New Year with her in Hawaii. But things don't go according to plan, and the plane hits a storm, and they land in this remote island. And he finds out that he's a very different person than he thought he'd be. He, he always knew he was loyal and a sense of duty, but this movie calls into question, how far do you take that sense of duty? He's now responsible for all the passengers in a very um, in a very dangerous environment and, and um, can't do it all on his own. You know, and who can he trust? Who, who's, whose help can he enlist? And they're really the underdogs in this impossible situation. But he's all about heart, but he doesn't necessarily have the know-how sometimes. Maybe he's a bit gung-ho. Yeah. That's always a tricky thing. You know, I like being the producer because I get to shape the project more. You know, you get to choose who's going to be in it, who's going to direct it, and I and my favorite thing is working with the script. But um, but once you get shooting, you know, you always have to remember to focus on your character. I find when you've worked on it, you have a deeper understanding of who your character is, what each scene is trying to say, but still at the same time, you can get bogged down with logistics and tricky things, and sometimes you're like, guys, I, I need to I need to remember where I'm at right now. So it can be tricky, but I love it. I, I love being able to do both. Yeah, unfortunately, when you play a pilot, you can't, well, maybe you could just turn up and switch a couple of buttons, but um, I spent, I went up flying a bunch of times and then spent many hours in a simulator really kind of going over all the different things we have to do in the movie but I also wanted to understand what everything does and, and really start to feel comfortable like I wasn't just pretending to sit in that seat like I actually felt like I'd spent a long time there and once we got to the cockpit that we filmed in which was on a gimbal and moved, I, I mean I spent probably three weeks sitting in that thing so by the end of it I really kind of yeah I think if anybody's looking any of you airlines are looking for uh, an airline pilot I, I pretty sure I could be flying commercial airliners um, adequately. I loved filming in Puerto Rico. It's a beautiful country. The people there are incredible. They've been through a lot. They have great spirit. And it really doubled beautifully for the Philippines, you know, the, the jungles that they have there, just the terrain generally, the weather. I mean, we, sh we shot in the middle of summer. And it was so intensely hot and, and humid that that itself was like a personality, a character in the movie, you know, and it just added to what, it's a survival movie, you know, so it really added to that element of what we were all having to go through, what we were all having to fight through, so, um, yeah, beautiful place, I would go there again in a heartbeat. But Mike Coulter especially, one, he's a phenomenal human being, um, and he's a terrific actor, and, it, and immediately that we, we met, I knew it was going to be an easy process, and very collaborative, and he's a... Um, it's an easy guy to get along with and I love what he brought to that role because really that's what makes this movie is a relationship between this captain and this accused murderer who he now has to enlist his help and trust and he really doesn't he, we just don't know where this is going to go but he brought so many colors you know there's just something so interesting and fascinating about who he is and it, he's, he's not the person that I thought he was going to see let's just say that so I loved our relationship um, Danielle, uh, Daniela Pineda, who's phenomenal. She plays the, you know, one of the um, air stewardesses, and um, and she's just, you know, tough as nails, but so much heart. I mean, and we had Tony Goldwyn. I mean, we really had, uh, and and my co-pilot Yosonan, who was just uh, from Mulan, terrific actor, um, just played it so sincerely, so much humanity. Your heart bled for him. Um, yeah. But I think what audiences love about uh, playing is 
It's exciting, propulsive entertainment. It really doesn't finish from the start to the end, and I think it crosses many different genres, but yet it's people that you can relate to. It's people that are flesh and blood, they make mistakes, but they're trying their best in these insane situations, you know, and you're in there. Like every, uh, I'm hearing things like people watching even, uh, you know, screeners at home, and they say, I literally went down because I thought I was wearing my, my you know, my, my, my seatbelt, you know, or I, I, I scraped all my, my nail varnish off. I mean, people are really kind of feeling it, I think. So that's always good to hear. I'm super excited for audiences to see this film. It's action-packed. It's a fun ride. You know, I, I lived a life of action before I got into the film and TV business, so I know what real action is, and this is it. It was amazing. You know, Mike Coulter and Gerard were just so accommodating, and, you know, they brought so much to the film, and they were coaches. They were great coaches in a sense, and, well, I would say leaders, in a sense that they really led all the actors and gave us pointers and just to help make a great film. They created a great environment for all of us. Yeah, my character is Shellback. He plays a former Special Forces type guy who's now a mercenary. And uh, Shellback and his team gets hired to jump into the Philippines to try and rescue the passengers and crew of the plane. Oh, I was amazing. I mean, the people of Puerto Rico are just so beautiful and so welcoming. The food, the location, the sights, it, it, it's beautifully shot. And the reason why is because of the backdrop that we had to shoot it in. So it was an amazing experience. That's a great question. The one scene I would say that I'm excited for people to see is just that, that scene when our team hits the ground and they know that the audience will know that these are the guys that are going to play a role saving the, the crew and the passengers and, and everyone. So that, that scene takes place when we all land, me and my, my, my team of four guys, we land and, and we start setting up. And I think that that's when the audience, is, even before that maybe, but the audience is gonna realize these guys are coming in to do the job. How excited am I? Pretty excited. I mean, the the, te the weather that we shot this movie in was the complete opposite of where we are right now. You can't tell, but New York City, it's really cold. And we were in the middle of a heat wave it's action-packed, you know, it's unpredictable, and we've got Mike Holder, Gerard Butler, Daniela. It's everything you can hope for for a big screen movie. Oh man, Jerry, um, you know, I filmed with him for two weeks in the cockpit, and every once in a while I had to pinch myself, looking to the left of me, I'm sitting next to Leonidas from 300. Uh, but other than that, he's extremely professional. He's a great leader, you know. Like, he brings such great energy on set every day. Super down to earth. And I just I just love working with a scene partner that really cares about the scene as an actor. Uh, and that's who Jerry is. Mike, great guy. Uh, we have our moments in the film. And we have our moments on set, you know. He, uh, I love the guy. Samuel Daly, he's got quite an unusual name, you know. Daly's not a typical... East Asian last name. But the backstory I came up with Sam is that his grandfather was in the mining business in Africa. So that carried that lineage carried on with him from you know from Africa back to Hong Kong. But he grew up into an international school as a pilot. He's a young pilot, he's got a family. So the situation that he found himself in Angola Island is pretty high stakes for him and he really needs to get out of the island to see his family. Um, and there's gonna be a huge character shift from being this timid pilot to someone who takes the lead and in charge of Jerry. The climax of the movie, and it's when Jerry, you know, Captain Torrance and Samuel Daly, my character, we take off off of Yola Island, avoiding all the gunfires and rocket launches and whatnot. It's a pretty intense scene. Puerto Rico is so beautiful. I mean, it's 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 a little hot for me. You know, I, I'm from New Zealand, so the temperature was a little hot. But I love the island. Um, the, the cast and crew there, world class. You know, such kind people, lovely people to work with. I'm so excited to see it in theaters, especially because it came out early, and I've seen the posters everywhere. I've seen the trailers. I've got so much feedback, and I'm very excited to see it for the first time today. Yeah, it's been such a wonderful journey. We were all in Puerto Rico for so long, and it's like a family. You spend so much time together, and you really become friends. And Yos and Anne, who plays alongside Jerry Butler, has become a really close friend. So Bree and the character of Kelly are both like the youngsters in this journey, and it's their first trip away from home, and they're like the innocents. And I think they're confronted with like 
death, basically, and they go to these primal instincts and this really pure fear of dying that really motivates Torrance, who's played by Jared Butler, to save us because he has a daughter and he's reminded of his daughter through us. Yes, there is one scene where we're held hostage and Mike Coulter and Jared Butler try to save us and I think that scene really grips me. It was beautiful because I've never been and you really get a sense for a place when you're in Puerto Rico, you have this island, you see all the sides of it, you get to shoot with locals who know things you wouldn't know and it was such an adventure being there for so long, you really get indulged in the culture and like their love for life, dancing, singing on the streets, it was a beautiful experience. How excited am I for audiences to see playing in theaters? Um, I'm really excited because it's really a, an audience-driven film. And what I, what I mean when I say that is that it's the kind of film, if people like it and they, they tell people, that's, that's what the film is about. It's an experience that's supposed to be done in the theater. Word of mouth is what's going to make this, this movie work. You know, um, the feedback has been great. So I think it's one of those movies you come in, you forget about everything. You get entertained. You don't. It's not a thinking movie. It's just it's an experiencing movie. It's like a white knuckler, engaged, leaning forward. What's going to happen next? Kind of movie. And I think people are going to really like that. So, what it was like uh, working with my co-stars? Um, I got really lucky. Um, Yo, son, obviously um, Gerard or Jerry, as I like to call him, because we've been we made we made friends right now. I mean, two months in Puerto Rico. I, I mean, Remy. The supporting cast was excellent. The director, I had the best time. I'm telling you, like this movie in terms of like levels of, you work in this business and you just hope that you can get along with your co-stars. You just hope that the, that the shooting conditions are great. This movie was all those things and I was just so happy when I was in Puerto Rico. I can't even tell you how happy I was. The people of Puerto Rico were so supportive. The crew was so great and I just can't wait for people to see this movie. My character is um, Luis Gaspar. He's a guy that's been accused uh, supposedly of murder. He's being extradited on a plane with passengers who are just going home for New Year's Eve, um, the plane crashes, and, and basically everything changes. The officer that was um, that was taking him was killed, and now Gaspar is basically on his own. He's a guy of mystery. There's not a lot of backstory. What happens is you will find out more as the movie goes on, but his, things are not as they appear. He and, he and um, uh, Captain, Captain Torrance are basically two guys that are from two opposite sides of the spectrum, and through this, this basically this travesty, this this plane crash, they have to rely on each other. And that's what's great about this. Things are not as they appear, and I think the audience is going to be on the edge trying to figure things out as they go. But it's always going to be something that's going to surprise them. The ending. The ending. The ending's cool. I think it's not exactly what people thought it was going to be, um, but it's going to surprise them. What was it like filming in Puerto Rico? It was my first time in Puerto Rico. I did not know what to expect. Obviously, Puerto Rico is a place that people go to for vacations. And it's a place that people have ideas about. I've been to the Caribbean before. I've visited a lot of places, Dominican Republic, obviously, Bahamas, Jamaica. But Puerto Rico is exceptionally wonderful and unique in its own way. The people are so proud. The, the culture is so rich. The food is so good. Um, the landscapes, the scenery. I, I just had a great time. I mean, for two months, I'm literally thinking to myself, I was like, I gotta, I, maybe I can move to Puerto Rico. I'm not kidding you. I mean, it's just one of those great places. And um, my heart goes out every time I see that a hurricane or something has happened to Puerto Rico because Puerto Rico is a wonderful place and I just hope the best for them. I'm extremely excited. It's, uh, I've seen it, which is a plus, um, and I can honestly say it's a complete ride. It's absolutely brilliant. It's thrilling from minute one to the, to the end of the movie. So everyone go and see it. You don't want to miss it. Uh, yes, my character, I, all I'm going to say is he goes through the ringer. It's a tough ride for him, so yeah. Um, I'm not going to say whether he makes it or whether he doesn't, but yeah, you'll watch it and find out. I play Carver, so yeah, yeah. Um, it was amazing. Um, Gerard and I have been dear friends for many years, so it's nice that we get to break the ice finally on the screen together. Um, and the, the entire cast was brilliant. Mike Coulter, Daniela Pineda. Um, it was just, it was really, like people say on set, you become a family, but we were in Puerto Rico for a long time. Um, and it was just incredible. Like the entire cast behind the scenes in front of camera were just truly incredible. Honestly, the, the actual plane itself, um, the crew, the way they made it, um, it was so real. As an actor, we didn't really need to act. Um, the only bad downside was the last thing I wanted to do was get on a real plane after we wrapped. It was extremely scary, yeah. So I'm excited for people to see it because it's, it's real. It's real, yeah. Extremely excited. I'm excited myself. I live in London and I haven't seen the film. So this is the first time seeing the film. The idea that I came up with in 2016, a long, long time ago. So uh, I'm probably more excited than anybody.
So I was in Egypt with my two kids in 2016. It was the height of uh, ISIS's campaign in Syria and Iraq. And I thought, what would have happened if our plane had been diverted by bad weather and had come down, sort of crash landing in Syria, and had been sort of set upon by terrorists? And I thought it was a great idea for a movie. So I came to LA, and I pitched it, and I sold it. And, 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 and then obviously, it's now moved to the Philippines, the action. But um, that was the, the kernel of the original idea. Uh, I think the crash. The, 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 well, the, the crash landing will be really exciting to see. Uh, there's a very good fight about halfway through, which is sort of in the trailer a little bit. And I've seen, I've had a taster of that, and I think it looks very good. We have a wonderful French director, uh, Jean-Francois Richet, who really knows what he's doing when it comes to shooting action, and also he's very good with character. So, yeah, just, I mean, I'm psyched to see the whole thing. But that particular scene, I think, looked very good on the trailer, so it, it should be terrific. Butler is, a, is one of the last few remaining true movie stars. You know, in the industry now is so much directed towards television as much as to the big to the big screen, and so there's only a handful of really great stars left, and he's one of them. So for him to be in a movie that I conceived is extraordinary. You know, it's a, it's a dream come true. I haven't met him, so I'm looking forward to meeting him tonight and to talking about it. And uh, in the in the, in the rough cut that I saw, he and Mike Coulter were a fantastic duo, a really great pair. They work really well together. Yeah, he's a he's a, a regular uh, airline pilot. He's been um, around the world many times. Been w working for years. Um, he has uh, got himself in a little bit of trouble with uh, personnel department. So he's 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 flying the less glamorous routes around the world, um, and he can handle himself in a fight. Uh, but he's not uh, he's not a special forces guy. He doesn't have sort of special skills. He's a uh, a, you know, a rugged alpha male who is going to protect his passengers and protect his crew and get them out of there if he possibly can um, using his wits and his, and his natural kind of courage.